Hey, it's Matt, back with another tool haul video, and this one is big. So we got a culmination of 14 different lots that I won at an auction. So I was going to try to do maybe like seven videos, put two of the lots together, but uh, the way I got these shipped to me, they were all commingled, and it would have been impossible for me to separate each auction out. So... I decided to do it this way. We're going to do it in four videos. I have everything separated out from sockets. We have wrenches. I have drive tools, extensions, and adapters. And we have some everything else that's not this stuff. So we got screwdrivers, punches, tapes, adjustable wrenches, pliers, all sorts of different stuff. And these two toolboxes. So that's how I'm also going to divide up the cost of this stuff. Um, so I know it's not really accurate, but I figured I would do a quarter of the price, all the sockets, a quarter of the price, all the wrenches, a quarter of a price, all the drive tools, and then all the other miscellaneous will be another quarter of the price. So that's how I'm going to do it. Maybe it'll sting a little bit less doing it that way. I don't know. Uh, things got a little out of hand. I pretty much bought every single tool lot in this auction. So um, I'll tell you a little bit later why I felt like I wanted to do that. Um, but uh, let's get into this. We're going to start off first with the miscellaneous box, get that out of the way. And I think next week we'll move on to the wrenches and we'll go to the sockets and then we'll do the drive tools. So let's get to it. All right, I got it all laid out for you. I tried to fit it all in here, but man, it was difficult. There's a lot of stuff here. So again, this is just box one of four. If you want to see the other three boxes stay tuned the next couple of weeks we'll release those so what we got here is the miscellaneous box so let's take a look at what we have here um let's start from the top i guess you know some wire brushes there's a file over there i think that was made in uh, india um, we got some monkey wrenches one of those is in pretty bad shape the smaller one no identification on them a couple of putty knives uh one of them's missing the brass pin coming out of it um, this one might be pretty nice if I can get this orange paint off of it. I might be able to, to clean that one up all right. And that might be a nice old putty knife. Uh, but no names on these or anything. That plastic one is destroyed. Um, this one has been modified. Uh, the blade has been modified. And a uh, little brass pin is coming out of there. But I really like the like this up here. That's kind of cool. So I might try to do something with that one. But, uh, we got a Taiwan Allen set. Um, let's go over these hammers here. Uh, I got a magnetic tack hammer, a cheapo, I think this might be a master mechanic um, hammer. I got the exact same one at work. Uh, we got a little Stanley, little pickaxe kind of thing, a little masonry axe. Uh, and, and this is the handle to it. This was on it in the picture of the auction, and then when I got it, you know, it was like that. So that's cool. Um, let's take a look at this four pound little sledge here, and this is cool. I definitely have some value back on this one. This is an old plum, or plum I should say, Fayette plum. It's got the anchor on there, so this is definitely a score. Uh, the handle is loose, it's broken, so I, you know, it's really just the value of the head of this. But I looked a couple of these up, I've seen some of them go for 20 bucks. I've seen some go for 50 bucks, just the head. So I would reckon at bottom of the line, probably get 20 bucks for this if that logo, I'll clean this up here, if that logo turns out to look pretty good, then, uh, then it might be on the upper end of there, but it looks like it's going to be a little rubbed off on the bottom here. But uh, we'll definitely clean that one up. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Maybe I'll rehandle it. I don't know, but that's definitely a score, so... We'll say, you know, 20 or so bucks for that. Uh, this little thing, I don't know, this is it says Greenlee on it. I think they do uh, like a conduit stuff or plumbing stuff, stuff with piping. So this is probably something to do with a pipe that comes out. Maybe it's an expander or something for conduit. Uh, don't really know. I'd have to do a little research on there. Uh, I got a chuck key. Got some Ladyfoot pry bars here. I didn't really look to see if there was any names on these. Uh, this one's a Proto, so that's cool. Awesome. Got a Proto Ladyfoot. 
Now this one looks like a Stanley. It's got some yellow on it and black paint. Who knows? Got a bunch of punches down here that you can't see over here. Uh, no names on them, no identification. Uh, I got a couple here that do have identification on them. So you got a nice old, really long Velcheck, eighth inch, in somewhat decent shape. Uh, we got this one. This is probably my favorite one. This is uh, Ender's, and uh, you know it's not in the greatest shape, but I just like the the squared off shank on it and it's just a nice looking uh nice looking punch and uh, this one here is in pretty rough shape but it's a cornwell it says cornwell on there somewhere i think right there yeah you can barely read it so that's cool this one doesn't have a maker's name on it but it says 1971 chrome alloy usa wear safety goggles so i don't know what that is but it looks like it was once once like a eighth inch punch or something and uh somebody had broke off and then they just kind of rounded it off or something so broken this thing i don't know what this is it has two square ends on each side i think they're different sizes yeah, we've got a 5 16 and a 9 30 second and it says sex hour manufacturing co yeah, I don't know what hour that is. I wish I knew. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know if you know what that is. I suppose I could have looked it up, but... Don't know. Uh, I got a couple of vice grips. These are just China garbage. They don't work. Uh, these are actual old vice grips, and these are in rough shape. Look at these things, man. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, but... They do function. Here's the Peterson do it. But uh, they work. They're good to go. Need a little bit of cleaning up. But uh, nice uh, old set of vice grips. Let's see the jaws in there. They're not too bad. A little bit of wear up there. That one's not too, too bad. So a pair of old, rusty, crusty vice grips. Just the way I like them. Got a couple of no-name players, Ace, whatever, you know, Taiwan stuff, cheap little things. Uh, I don't know what these are. Um, they still function. I'll have to clean them up, see if there's a name on those. Got some uh, slip joint players here. Uh, these are these say high spec on them. And uh, I don't know what kind of specs they were going off of, but these things are just bent just ridiculously. So, uh, nothing there. But uh, we have these little... Pennons Corp, Chicago. So, those are cool, but the jaws are a little, uh, not the greatest on them. And they're a little rusty, some finish loss, so not too much value there. Uh, we got some hog ring pliers, I believe these are. And these are pretty old, and these are a uh, Perfect brand. Which handle is it in? There we go. It says Perfect on there. Um, and these, just like those vice grips, these look like they've been in the bottom of the ocean. They are rusty, rusty, and I don't know if this is just a type of hog ring player or something else. Um, I'm going to assume that this stuff uh, came from a farm, maybe. If anyone's a farmer, let me know. Is this stuff that's laying around, because I think this other thing down here is definitely tied to these tools here. So, again, no name on that. Uh, we got some little nippers here. No name on these. Pretty old-looking nippers. Uh, definitely an old-style rivet in there. So, those are pretty cool. Uh, we got some side cutters, some dykes. Uh, I don't know if I read any name on this one. This one's got a name on it. Let's see if we can get in on there. Can you read it? I can't read it through there. You could probably read it. Tell me. Tell me what it says. I don't know. Dime, dime alloy. Cool. So some diamond side cutters. Um, got a chip missing off the top. So these are, you know, pretty much done. Oh, let's see what these other ones are. Uh, Japan, BF Japan. So whatever. Oh, we got these little tin snips. Um, sheet metal shears, whatever you want to call them. Whis. These bolts says USA on it. Um, but there's no other writing on here, no other brand, so not really sure who makes these. 
but the jaw you know the teeth look oh, or whatever you know what i mean that it looks okay they'll still cut i believe all right so uh let's skip those screwdrivers we'll save those for last uh let's go down here we got a little craftsman corner jig and i don't have one of those so that's nice you know this might be you know, 10 bucks or something at a rummage sale maybe five who knows little spark or uh, spark plug a little uh battery terminal uh little brush and what have you is there no name on that oil filter wrench this is one of them expanded ones multi size one size fits all kind of thing whatever old c clamp no name on it got the it's pretty old because it's got this and not the slide t-bar on there so it's not bent or anything got an old pair of scissors that don't have anything written on them and a pair of forceps these are cool i'll take those fishing with me throw those in the tackle box so that's a score got ourselves some uh some wire strippers here these are ideal and if you've never seen these before these will strip the wire and pull it off for you in one motion so it's got the uh little jaws right there and that'll grab the sheathing on the wire and then this right here will pinch that wire and hold it there well this pulls it that way and pulls the wire off so one motion will strip that wire right off for you uh, they're a little rusty probably not too much value in those maybe a couple bucks what we have here is a little leather punch tool so they could have used this for punching holes in leather belts if you're making stuff out of leather but they also use this to tag poke the hole in the ear of them cows there them heifers and put the tags on there so I'm gonna guess that that is what that was used for um, and that's what all these other tools came from probably a farm farm area maybe all of these tools came from a farm don't know all right what else we have here a little tap I forget what size was even in there. I forget what this brand is on there. Let's see if we can get in on it. Can you read it? Oh, yeah, this was a Miller's Falls. Miller's Falls. So that's kind of cool. I'll hang on to that and throw that in my bin. And we got some adjustable wrenches here. Got a cheap China one. That's That one's just done. This little one is kind of cool. It's an Industro Super. It's in pretty good shape. It functions. It's got a little bit of use out of it on the back side here, you can see. But uh, it works. And that's a neat little industro. Little adjustable wrench. And then I like this one. We got a super adjustable. And that is going to be a J.H. Williams. So this one is pretty cool. I'm going to clean that one up. It's going to have some finish loss to it. It's not going to be perfect, but... I like that one, but my favorite adjustable one is this big one here, and I don't have one of these. We got ourselves a 15-inch Craftsman in really, really decent shape. It just looks uh, pretty dingy, and I bet you I can clean this thing up really nice. Definitely has some use to it, but minor, nothing crazy. There's the part number, 44662. Nice-looking adjustable wrench. And I could, I bet you I could get a 20 for this thing cleaned up on the eBay there. I wouldn't doubt it. So that's definitely a score, one of the more valuable items in here. Uh, I didn't talk about this little feeler gauge, KD tools. Nothing special, nothing too, too old, I don't think. Oh, come on, focus. It says Lancaster, Pennsylvania on there. I don't know. Might be a little bit older, KD. So that's cool. All right, what else we got here? We talked about the hammers. We talked about that stuff. Yeah, I got that. But let's go over here. Let's talk about this these tape measures here. So we got a Lufkin 12 foot white clad tape in pretty rough shape. Plastic uh, peeling off of there. Um, getting a little bit worn at the end there. Some rust in there. How far do we want to go? Where do you want to go? Five feet? We're, we're, we're almost there. I, I got a wall over here. But yeah, no, it's all right. Retract slowly. Get in there. Okay. But yeah, you know, a good tape measure for just throwing around and stuff. 
Whoa, this one's kind of cool. Atlantic Union, New Jersey, 10 foot thin white tape. I like this little thing. It's in pretty good shape. Made in the USA. I like this thing. Uh, just a little bit of damage on the first inch and a half there. Line going through for a while. Once you get out to five inches, it's uh, it's pretty mint. So definitely a cool, cool little tape measure. I like that thing. All right. Let's talk about these big nippers over here. Oh, I like these things. So, what do we got here? What brand do we have? Do you see it? Can you read it? Can you read it? There we go. I forget what the part number is on these. I think these are 14 inches. Um, but I looked these up, and these cleaned up uh, fetch a pretty penny. You know, I'm not saying like hundreds of dollars or anything, but these are in pretty good shape. I don't see any light going through there. Um, but the paint is chipping off. They definitely need a good cleaning, so I will uh, take some time and clean these up. Um, they don't currently open, so don't worry. I'll get these working good. So those I'll definitely probably clean up and sell. What else? Screwdrivers. Where should we do the toolboxes? Let's do the screwdrivers. Uh, in the back, that big long one, I got no name on that one. I have no name on this orange one. It has this weird socket end on it, but no name on it. Some Stanleys back there. Three of these black-handled Stanleys. I guess they're all black-handled Stanleys, but three of these uh, other ones, harder plastic ones, those aren't in that great a shape. Um, we got a lot of Craftsman stuff here that is in excellent shape, except for this Torx one. We got a T30, T30 Torx driver, WF41477. Not in bad shape, looks fairly unused. But the prize of these screwdrivers are these Craftsman's here. And let's just grab all of them and take a look at them. They are in excellent shape. Oh. If it would focus, there we go. So we got Phillips number two. Just look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. In awesome shape. So we got a number two. We got a number one. The same WF. In excellent shape. And we have a little teeny pocket one that looks bent. I don't know if that's an illusion, but, you know, I know the cameras do weird things. Focus, geez, but uh, it looks bent, like the handle is bent too, like straight from the factory molded that way. I don't know, I got another screwdriver in a video uh, prior to this that, that kind of looked like that. So, I don't know, but it's in excellent shape. Tip is great, like it was never used, but my favorite one out of this batch of craftsman's is this little guy here 41542k usa it's got the craftsman in the blue just a clear white on there and it is perfect brand new and uh that's gonna be my favorite screwdriver out of there i really like that little one that is definitely cool uh, that red one is a master mechanic. It is toast. Uh, we got some Roscoe ones here. This one was in a fire. It's completely destroyed. Uh, but these other two, tip on this blue one isn't that great. Would have liked it if it was, but it's not horrible. But it's not good. More focus. So, but this little uh, little stubby Roscoe one is in nice shape. So I can clean clean that shank up a little bit there. Make it a little nicer, but I like that black and orange little stubby one. That one's cool. So, all right, we got a wooden-handled pokey thing. Um, no, it didn't really look too close at that to see if there was any name on it. No name, other screwdriver. This is a snap-on, and uh, this would be nice if uh, it weren't completely destroyed. Uh, the tip has been busted off of it. You know, whatever. Maybe I can reshape it and try to get some life left out of it. I, I don't know. It's even worth it. Um, this is a no-namer. I think it might be like a bench top or something. I can 
kind of barely make it out on there, but probably just a cheaper, you know, auto store screwdriver. Got a little pick there. What else? I think I talked about all of this stuff. Let's take a look at these toolboxes here. Nothing special, no name on them. Um, but uh, yeah, a little black, black toolbox. Just has one latch on the front of it. And uh, just a bunch of a bunch of stuff in there, and it smells, man. It smells like a cat sprayed on my grandma's feet. It does not. It's not pleasant. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put that over there. That's gonna need some some cleaning. And then we got this other toolbox here. And this is kind of interesting. I don't know if this was a project or if this was a mass-produced uh, toolbox, but it just has this weird handle on the top here, where it kind of just accordions together and closes like that and then you just you know you holding it keeps it closed so i don't know if anybody else has ever seen one of those before if they know you know who makes it or if it was just kind of a shop project that you made in, uh, in high school or something i don't know probably not too much value there a couple bucks ten bucks maybe what do you think? How do you think I did? What was your favorite favorite item in here? I don't know. I like these two adjustable wrenches. Those are nice. These nippers are nice. That plumb hammer is awesome. Got some awesome Craftsman screwdrivers. I have a bunch more punches to add to my collection of punches and, you know, some other stuff here that I can probably use. But what I paid for this, you're going to have to wait. I'm going to tell you at the end of the fourth video of this lot. So what do you think? What would you have paid the most for all of this? I think I definitely lost something on this one. Um, but, uh, you know, it happens. So, all right, next video, we're going to do the sockets, I believe. We'll do the sockets. Maybe we'll do the wrenches. I don't know. You'll find out in a week. Thanks for watching. If you like, thumbs up, subscribe, check out my other videos. Thanks. Have a good one.